welcome back everybody to another uh the the continuation of this contest so from four to six is what i'm gonna do it next uh earlier in the game i did from round one to three so let's continue on with the game now madam luna is a pain like she is really like the biggest pain in the ass like secondary compared to drag the guy i just beat on the last episode which is actually Madame Luna's controller. Like he's inside that fucking thing. I hate though that when you when you play story mode and you lose to this robot, she like starts kissing the screen and it's almost like her equivalent to giving the finger. Like it's like she's flicking you off. And she looks like a dick about it. Like she has that look on her face like, yeah, I'm a dick, I know. But that's how I'm programmed. I'm programmed to be a dick. Aw oh, damn it! I don't know, I chained that one. What? No! It sounds like a drunk Japanese guy after a few sake bombs. Come on! I did not hang there! God damn. Um. Ah! Stop! I don't want to lose already. Cause if I lose, I'm not gonna go again. Uh. Oh, God, there's too much of the unnecessary shit here. As long as I keep that, I can keep this bitch occupied. I'll be able to. Pop enough bubbles. Oh, shit. I am getting cornered here. Come on, do a hit that's worth it. Come on. You move like ass, you stupid program. No! I did not hit there! <sighs> Fuck. A duck. God, you fucking quack. Quack. Fucking controls. S no! There we go. Yay. Stop slowing down. I can't see. Get that. the number out of the way. I hate when the numbers slow down after you do a combo, because... Yes! Bitch! Stupid ass moon. She nuke your ass. Fucking piece of shit machine. Don't you hate when you got a pimple that you just can't pop yet because it's not ready, but you're just like, Arr! it's annoying. This guy. This old man. I think if I remember right, he was the one that beat me in level 7. I'm not sure. But anyway. By the way, um, I posted on Facebook that there's probably going to be a time that my company, the Angry Owl Production Company, might be moving its branch to um, to England. So there might be a chance that the American team is probably going to go to uh, England. As a word of a uh, word of word from there is um, it's not official yet, but I'd have to get a few things straightened out in England before I do that. Because my friend uh, has a place that we can use as a, the new studio because, to be honest, we're not getting the, the same amount of followers as most people are getting in America. I mean, we're trying to get as many numbers as possible, but we don't seem to have that many here. 
because everyone thinks, oh, you know, Let's Plays are a little overrated, you know, no one's playing the games that we, we kind of grew up with, everyone wants to play the new games, but you got gamers like me, you got people like Markiplier, but you got also people like the Grumps that we go around playing, like, vintage games that, you know, we grew up with. I mean, one of the few games that they've played that I enjoyed, uh, not only watching, but I also played it on a on an emulator before my emulator crashed, was actually Night Trap. Now that game, that was like the ori originator for Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, I here's actually the funny thing. I actually saw the documentary for Night Trap. Yeah, there was a documentary that I think it's still available on YouTube. You can actually watch, I think, even right now. It actually talks about, like, how the game... Yes! How the game progressed, the idea, the concept. And the, the, the government... Uh, well, no, the Congress got it so wrong of their claim for Night Trap that um, it created the ESRB uh, system, which with it now means that all games have a rating system. They said that the game was mostly meant to trap and kill women, but... That was, if you play the game, that is not what the game is about. You're trying to prevent that from happening. Alright, this is the last round of the day. Once I beat this cutesy Capricorn demon thing. Now this one, I fully, this one for some reason, you, wait, if I remember right, do you battle this one in story mode? I can't remember. I only just remember the dick character. I got like shit so bad, man. Like, I went out drinking last night, and I've had a couple of like, I, I had a couple of drinks, but the stop. But the thing is, it, it wasn't that after two drinks I got drunk. I got lightheaded from from work, and um, it seems as though, as though like when I was too tired, I swigged a lot, that it ended up making me like dizzy. So I was like just chilling like with my back on like against the like the wall because I was in a booth and um like I almost felt like I was getting too tipsy but it wasn't I haven't even had like I mostly drink up to like four beers or or four alcoholic beverages before I start getting all weird but I guess because I was so tired because on Sundays at my job it's very busy. I have a YouTuber who can collaborate my claim. No. Ah! Fuck! That's where I'm beat. Sorry guys, this seems to be the last round for contest mode. I lost to a Capricorn demon. I can't shit talk it because I'm a Capricorn. But, oh man. I'll play another game soon. I just wanted to give you guys a brief demo of contest mode. <coughs> If you win up to like 20 wins, you could complete the picture. I can upload the picture on Facebook to show you guys what it looks like. I just feel so bad killing her off. After 5 wins, I'm ranked number 1, so I just put a triple A. I don't care anymore. Game over. As you can plainly see, once again, I take off the music. I just hate the fucking music for this. But that's it completely for Bust the Move 4. I don't know what else I can really do that's not going to be too frustrating. But at least I was calmer than I was in my last episode. So thank you guys for tuning in. Stay cool. Stay frosty. Stay safe. And be cool. Alright, so I'll see you guys in another video. I'll probably play another game. So see you guys in a later time. Let's fucking around.